Tragedies on tragedies are continuing in the Mediterranean Sea, where so many migrants are dying. How to read these events of our time, not only about migrants, but also concerning many other things, such as the persecution of Christians around the world. All deplore these events, looking for solutions. A Christian, following what the Gospel says, gives a prophetic lecture of these facts, for example, recalling the harsh and for many people almost scandalous words of Jesus in relation to tragedies happen in Jerusalem in his days. Now, there were some people at the time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood the governor Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you too will all perish. In our time, no one would express himself in this way, neither the religious, not even the Pope. The dramatic events of today should lead us to conversion, because what happens now there will also happen here. In the above-mentioned passage, Jesus speaks prophetically not only about the judgment impending on Jerusalem, which was not recognizing him as the Messiah, and 30 years later it was going to be destroyed. But the Lord speaks also of the end of the world, as many passages of the Holy Scriptures also do. The events we are facing are not disconnected from the will of God. Many say that God respects our freedom, allowing even tragedies. But the prophet Isaiah says something different. I form the light and create darkness. I bring prosperity and create disasters. I, the Lord, do all these things. And the tremendous things that happen today, where they come from, we read in the book of Revelation, when he, Jesus, opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature call out, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace away from the earth, so that people would slaughter one another, and he was given a great sword. The red horse of the wrath of God is advancing. This reading is important because it tells us that we are not at the mercy of events that overtake us so that we can do nothing. We are in the hands of a God who is implementing the judgments of the Apocalypse on a world by now rebellious to His will, to His Christ, to His love. For those who understand and repent, these judgments are healthy and saving. This is the ultimate purpose of prophecy, to lead people to salvation. Marcello Ezekiel Chai, in a prophecy on the collapse of the world economy in 1995, wrote, Look, watchman, what do you see? Oh, I see a caravan of refugees in mourning, sick, injured, hanged. Cry out, watchman, cry out. 
What shall I cry out? Bring bread, bring water to the refugees, unless they will languish and die. A Christian follows these tragic events with a double pain, thinking also of the eternal destiny of the souls of the people that plunge into the sea. But there is a hope that only Christians have to raise to God a prayer of extreme confidence in the indescribable mercy of God. The eternal rest grant to them, O Lord. And then the prayer of the last final hope, come, O Lord Jesus, you alone will free the earth from so many evils. Come, come quickly, O Lord Jesus,